Hey everyone and welcome back to Parkosaurus. It's been a while since I've played Parkosaurus. Parkosaurus is still in alpha. But Parkosaurus is a game that I actually think about a lot because I really enjoy. And so I'm gonna jump back in to my most recent park, which we were about to build a Triceratops paddock. I believe we had three Stegosauruses here. So we have Rami. Oh, well, there's our veterinarian, hopefully feeding our three Stegosauruses. I know we had three. There's Sadie. Rami, and we have one more. Sheldon. So, already got three Stegosauruses. Our park is doing pretty well, I think, for just starting off. And the next move we were going to make was to build another exhibit with Triceratopses, and speaking of that, we want to make sure that we are doing digs to get some Triceratops parts to buy eggs. So we'll get that going. And hopefully it won't take me too long to get back into the swing of things here. Let's go ahead and run the exhibit. Uh, generally the same shape and size as the Stegosaurus exhibit. Uh, which was pretty large. Because dinosaurs need large exhibits and they need to live in herds of at least three is what we're finding out. Uh, so let's do 200. Let's bring it all the way down here and see if we can... Well, we'll probably have to adjust that. Two more. Almost. There we go. And we're also going to need a door. So our veterinarian can get... Uh, in and out to feed our dinosaurs. And how much money do we have? We only have 2300 right now. It's going to take more than that to finish the terrain here, but we could at least, I think, maybe lay down some grass to get started. Let's see how much this ends up costing us. Yeah, see, we don't have the funds, uh, but we can get a little bit of a start on it. No reason not to, really. And we'll see what kind of money we bring in. We can see we've already brought in a thousand for the day. So we're not doing bad. Uh, toilet situation. We have a line forming outside of the toilets according to our guest issues. We need to add some more toilets ASAP. And I'm pretty sure we could take care of that right away. And we won't put them too close together. Or maybe we should. Maybe we just keep them grouped up. Don't they usually do that? have like a row of outhouses. Let's just go ahead and throw down another one because they are relatively cheap and that's an issue we can easily avoid for the future. Who else has issues? Toilet situation. Not many options for food and he's right about that. We have a hot dog truck. And that's basically all we got right now. We need to do some more. So let's put in a sweet tooth option. We'll just put that right over here. We can rotate this. Um, let's put it over here near the entrance isn't bad. We can get them on the way in and on the way out. And I don't know if that really counts as food, but uh, it sounds good to me. I'd love to add this balloon shop, but we don't have the money right now when our expedition's arrived, so let's check out our dig site. Alright. Let's take out the upper layer with our bigger move here. Whoops. Oh, that was a waste. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else in the, in the next layer, okay? Uh, let's try that again down here, and nothing there. Well, let's uncover what we know, and then we'll scout around another 
skull. Very important that we get as many skulls as we can. So that we can get more eggs. Probably not gonna uncover anything else. Pretty good. Just get another one going. We have quite a bit of science. We can check out our science tree and see if there's anything we want to get into. We did... We do have access to stay out late. This allows us to put up some different street lights uh, so that our guests can stay in the park longer. The longer they stay in the park, the more money we're making. We made quite a haul for today. And so now we have access to lights. Uh, from expensive to basic, so... we we'll start putting some of these around. Especially near our active exhibits. Because this is going to want let people stay here later, which we want. Make it as, welcome, as welcoming as we can right up front. Make sure the bathrooms are well lit. <laughs> Seems like that might be extra important. We didn't really leave ourselves. Uh, can we build right on top of this path? Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Let's do that. That's cool. Alright. Well, that looks good. Let's go up here as well. It's nice that it lets us put these down right on top of the path without destroying that panel. Got worried about that for a minute. I could be being OCD and like counting these out, but I'm really not doing that, so... It's gonna be okay. We look decent. Is this too much light? I look, it looks like we have like little baseball fields here now. It's fine. It's gonna be the eating area, so it makes sense that it would be better lit than the rest of the park. Let's get at least a light back here for our scientists. For when they walk out of the park. Oh, we're at the end of the day, or we're getting pretty close. Yeah, I think that's good. We brought in almost six grand today, so that's a really good day for our park. And to reflect that, we got some pretty good reviews. A lot of high stars here. Three, fours, and fives. Jurassic World is doing a good job hatching dinos. We are trying. Jurassic World had Sheldon, the best species of them all. So we got a Stegosaurus fan. The baby Sadie was cool. Sometimes the lower stars will have like things you can act on feedback, but... Everybody's digging us. Here we go. I really just come to see dinosaurs like Rami. Okay, well, we gave us two stars. Maybe they need... Maybe what she means is she wants to see more different kinds of dinosaurs. Doesn't care about the food and stuff. Could be something like that. Okay. So let's go to the next day. And it is summer. How are we doing here for happiness? Still have not figured out the toys. Not sure if this is something that unlocks later, but at this point I'm thinking that it must be something that unlocks later. Some of them need more privacy. We can try to solve for that by putting in some more privacy hedge, I guess. Dinosaurs really, really like their privacy. It turns out when you're extinct, you know, you don't really, you're not at, at ease letting human beings watch you, basically. Um, so our food has arrived, let's grab that. And our expedition has arrived at the dig site, let's check that out. Alright, we'll try not to make any silly mistakes this time. I could probably get some more scientists. Honestly. Not really a good reason not to. It only means more loot, and we could find money in here as well. Which seems like we'll always need. Even if we don't necessarily need more eggs at the moment. Uh, money is always good to find on these digs. And we are making quite a bit of money. Maybe I will look at hiring one more scientist. Uh, let's see. We'll hire... You, because you have a high speed rating. 
Okay. Uh, and let's see. What can we do today to move our Triceratops exhibit closer to being a reality? Well, we could probably at least finish the grass and let's go to the store the egg store to be specific and see what we need here we just need to grab an imperfect gem which uh, we can do right now we'll grab three because we know we're gonna grab one two three triceratops eggs And we will drop them all in here together. And while they're hatching, we're, we'll spend some money to go ahead and build their biome. So they need a rainforest, which means immediately I think trees and I think water. So let's do... We know they're also going to want privacy. And so let's get some of that up so they're not like super uncomfortable as soon as they come out of their habitats. So we also know that we're going to need a feeder. Uh, so they can eat. Which is going to be here. Vegetarian feeder. Let's put it over here. And we know that our we can already get our veterinarian in here. And we might actually need to hire another veterinarian. We'll take a look at that. Now that we're going to have two full exhibits. It might be time to bring on some more hands. Kind of hoping this is good for now. Because I do want to start getting some of the trees going. And then, of course, the water that they're going to need. Alright, so... Let's lay down the water. And it doesn't need to be right on top of them, just kind of nearby. So we don't need to go overboard, but we do need enough to move this over to Rainforest. So let's just take it through here. And we could probably go a little deeper in one area. Let's not eat up our feed bin. Alright, now we have it at the bare bones of being a rainforest. It's still... Wants a little more water. A little elevation won't hurt it. Not too much. We don't want to go up into Taiga, but we can make it, you know, have a little character. And we will want to get some more bushes and trees for biodiversity. So we'll start on that early, making sure that we're putting in different types of bushes as we go uh, because we know we need to get the biodiversity down here to green out to make the dinosaurs actually happy so we're gonna start doing that we don't have an infinite amount of money today uh, so we're not gonna be able to finish I don't think but at least we have it as a rainforest and what we can do is go back and work on just the basic privacy. And we need to build a lane out here and some donation boxes before they are ready to hatch, preferably. So let's do that. And we need donation boxes. I noticed that we don't really have any donation boxes like up here at all. I wonder if that matters. I don't know. We'll put some more down and uh, see if it increases our revenue significantly or noticeably. Today we didn't bring as much in. Yesterday we brought in 5,000. Maybe... I'm not sure what could have affected that. I guess I should have paid more attention. Uh, but we'll see how much we bring in tomorrow and start looking a little deeper at why we make different amounts in different days some water by these trees I realize all right so we're not gonna do any more today 
I do want to get an expedition at least going. Not sure if those guys will work overnight or not. And then we have hearts, but we're not too many. This is how we're eventually going to unlock different types of dinosaurs. I really want to get here. Uh, and to get here, we do have to spend five on Acme Security. Which gets us a new hat. And Magic Dust perk. Lower effect of guest intrusion. That's not awful. Less privacy bushes we have to build, I think. And what are these? Your medium-sized dino friends. Flat rock shelter tier 1, an average sh shelter for a medium-sized dino to sleep and chill. Okay, so these are buildings we can put within the exhibits, I'm assuming? A bow. Now is that a toy? Maybe the toys we have to get unlocked through... Yeah, that's what it is. We have to unlock toys through the heart tree, guys. Ball feeder... Stump feeder, I, that's gotta be what it is, right? Huh. Red crystal, these are rocks. Feeders, maybe not. There's glasses and hats, but I don't think those are the toys, are they? Cone of shame. Oh, that's the end of the day. Uh, yeah. We didn't do, uh, too great today. We're only paying 438 out to our employees. Uh, I slept on a bench. Well, that's great, Prime. Why did you... You should give us more stars for that. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead, go on to the next day, and we'll hatch all of our Triceratops. And what we'll also do is we talked about hiring another veterinarian, so let's take care of that. Who do we want? Everybody's stats are basically leveled out. I wonder if this was a recent change. We used to see, every once in a while you'd see someone with a lot of personality or a lot of speed. Everyone seems kind of balanced. Let's just go ahead and grab Lampert. Lampter? Lampter? Alright, buddy. You're hired. And let's grab our delivery. Ooh, what's this? Not implemented yet. See, this is part of the game being an alpha is that there are whole parts of the game, apparently, that they haven't even implemented. We have a Dinopedia up here, which I'm sure contains lots of cool information about specific dinosaurs, but we can't even access it yet. So again, the game's in alpha, which means they're still making this game. It probably changes all the time in ways that we'll notice and some ways that we might not. So keep your eyes open. So we're running out of food. Now that we have more dinosaurs, we do have to pick up our supply at the front here, which we can do now. That'll help some, but I think we need to go to the store. Not the meat store, though. The vegetable store. And we need to add to our daily delivery some. We'll hit up our dig site. Now that we have another scientist, we can dig a little deeper, perhaps. Ooh, money, a thousand, so that's great. I like that. Let's spend his last moves on getting us a little deeper here. Alright. Definitely the money um, might be the most useful thing after a little bit, after you get enough of the basic supplies to buy the dinosaur eggs that you want. Uh, the money looks like that's kind of what we're after. To supplement the income of our park, which is perfect. Send out another one. Um, so yeah, just um, thinking about we're gonna have to do this. We might as well go ahead and grab it. And now we need to keep saving till we can get Ornithopoda. This will unlock Ornithopods in the portal room. So different type of dinosaur. This one looks like a Parasophilus. If you don't know a lot about dinosaurs, uh, you might have to use Google. Because I have a three-year-old, and he loves dinosaurs. And so I love dinosaurs too. And I know most of their names. So... Definitely we'll be trying to go for the correct pronunciations, etc. Otherwise I'll be corrected by my own child. 
All right, let's see if they're digging it. Perhaps a few decorate. Oh, decorations. Yeah, yeah, we can get some more decorations along this side over here. And we can get some, like, benches going on. So people can relax. Get some trash cans. Uh, so we're not, you know, so it's not disgusting. But definitely what we can do is put some decorations up over here. For the folks that come down this way. See our lovely new Triceratops exhibit. What's this guy got, like a question? What's, what's going on with him? He had a question mark above his head, it looked like. But he, he has no issues. And he's looking to donate, oh he donated $23. Not many options for food keeps coming up. And yeah, when your choice is like hot dogs or candy, um, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So let's take a look because we can get sous chef and we can get a wonton truck and a taco truck. And I think at this point we have, oh, we have no food. We are going to have to increase our food supply, potentially. Okay. Hopefully that'll hold us over. Okay, we were looking at the technology tree here for science points. We got sous chef, a monument pack. These are different decorations. That's cool. People like decorations. What's this? Ice cream Sunday or fun day. Sorry, ice cream fun day. Okay. Cool. We can get a billboard. Not sure what that would do, but that's quite expensive. We can create shade. It is the summer. No one has complained about the heat yet, however. Master Chef Food Court Entrance. Increase the decoration of wonder of your guests. Cool. I definitely want that. French fry stand. I definitely want all that. So yeah. We have to go into Sous Chef, so I think we're going to end up doing that. Definitely, definitely. A lot of money in this one. Didn't uncover as much initially as I would have liked. Whoops, oh boy. Just gotta get that out of my way, I think. Would have helped. Alright, that was kind of a bust, but it's okay. Because we can simply start another one. Uh, what else do we want to grab here? If anything, we, we grab Sous Chef, we could grab... We might as well grab Master Chef because that gets us closer to Rare Gem, which I think is going to be sweet when we get uh, even more awesome dinosaurs that require the higher level gems. Speaking of that, how is everybody doing? So we need to do a couple of things. I know we need to work on the biodiversity here right off. We don't have a lot of money again, but we can use the last couple hours of the day here uh, to get down some shrubbery, trees and whatnot to help with the biodiversity. I like the little ones because they don't take up a lot of visual space. But I know we need some of all of them, kind of, to raise that biodiversity meter, right? There we go. So that's good for trees. We might be able to get close on bushes. Although we're going to run out of money in a minute here. Which is okay, because we're bringing in 7,000 for the next day. What's not okay is uh, that we're running out of food today. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's all we can do for today. Tomorrow's another story. We'll have 8,000 something after maybe a little bit less after we pay our employees. And then we can think about finishing the biodiversity here for the Triceratops to be perfectly happy. 
and then we can get some more food options because I believe we can now do Tom's wonton truck. We can do the Tulum taco shop, the burger bonanza. The only thing holding us, or oh, the French fry stand, the only thing holding us back is cast, which we just made a ton of for today. Good job, guys. Really good haul. Some decent star reviews. We're slipping a little bit. We're seeing a lot of threes. The park is a bit dull. We need some more attractions. That's true. We're still early. Our overall rating is 3.88, which I think is pretty good because we're a newer park. So I think we're doing great. I'm having a great time. Again, with the park of like I knew I would. Hope you guys are having a good time too. I'm going to take a little break here. Next time we come back, we will finish the Triceratops Biodiversity. And we will build some food for our guests. Thanks for the support. And wish me luck.